I like how she's running for the elevator. It's like, where are you gonna go? Like, <laughs> like you're where, on the best floor. <laughs> like, like the where in are... the city are you gonna go? <laughs> oh, I see. It's so wanted to go through the vents. Yeah. Oh wait, wait, no, this way I think. Which way? I think it's gone back to that. No, maybe not. I yeah. don't know. Oh, it is? It's oh, it's in there. Oh, yeah. it's actually on our map. Well, let me get back there. Oh, shit, it says trap. GR2 in a room with no open vent. So it'd be one of those rooms with the buttons on them. I'm assuming. Oh, in a room with no vent. Okay. Keep going, keep going. Does this room That's have fine. a vent? This room has a yeah, vent. Yeah, it does. Okay, look, we have to chase them out, and then we close this door. And we go back to the main room, and we chase him out of it again. Ah, of course, oh, yeah. Okay. This is new, actually. I don't remember this at all. Come on, you can't escape the light. Just go to another room. <laughs> Stop rugby tackling me while you're at it. Yeah. Oh, he leaves a trail! Oh yep. my gosh! Oh, I don't think this one has an open vent. Yes, it does. Oh, does it? Okay. Hang on. <laughs> hmm. Hey, hey, you, trapped me in the, you trapped me in the room with them, so I gotta open the door. No, no! It, oh, oh, was it not open to you? Yeah, it's open now. There okay. we go. Closing it. Hmm. I have an idea. Ow! Come on, little dude. He might be trapped. No, there's a vent right there. Darn it. Maybe it'll carry on. Move. No, okay. Nah, it's gone back. I thought we could get him stuck there and I didn't even see that vent. It's alright. I'm trying to check, see if there's any doors I can close. <laughs> eh. That one can be closed. That's a vent. He's coming. <laughs> no, I just closed that. He ran through it when I was closing it. That's trick. just rude. Oh, close the door. Close the door. No, there's a vent there. He can get through it. Oh. Uh, now nice. <laughs> Open the door. Open the door. Let me have. <laughs> I was checking for to see if it could uh Okay, I have to stand here and shine my light out otherwise he runs in this room and this room connects to a room with a vent. Oh, okay. okay. I'm just disturbing from his map. I think he's going to run past me. I'm just going to see if I can't. This room has a vent in it so he has to Okay, let's see. Here he comes. No, wait. Does anyone have a blue key card? I, I do. think I 
Oh, Use the blue key. Use the blue key card. Mm. He's coming. He's on his way. Cause there's a door here that can give me shut. Oh, did we? Yay! We did it! Apparently. Yep. Okay. What? What? Okay, you little shit. Did you hey, get the elevator key card? Hey. This is an entirely new thing, this one. That's least, good. Or, un unless if it's just like it's old and like we never got around to doing it before. Which is also very possible. Because like if it like, was a floor that we, I, I never got to in the old game because it was random, mm. that's entirely possible. I think this is better that you can pick and choose. Yes. Oops. Let's do that. Can we take oh, the this is now? lovely. Oh. <laughs> How many days from the last accident? Uh, zero. Oh, it's locusts. Oh, there's like, yeah. Oh, it's locusts. Ah, lovely. Office memo. What does office memo say? As you know, prototype pesticide PL9 and exhibit an unforeseen side effect causing curious behavior in local bee populations. Bees in the hive lost the ability to differentiate between damaged and fully functional individuals, killing and disposing of every bee entering said hive. All hives in a significant radius are wiped out. Effective immediately, so this department will go into overtime scheduling until we isolate and replicate the exact cause of this particular effect. So that accident never happens again. So you're leading. Uh, lead regarding overtime compensation. <laughs> this accident. Here's a computer right here. Computer. Oh, computer? Computer. Computer. Hey, kid, I'm a computer. Okay. <laughs> team A. This morning you will have found an email splitting off this floor's team into two sub-teams. Each team will carry out the initial goals. Plentiful food for impoverished countries in the form of protein bars. The challenge remains to find plentiful source for that protein. That allows us to both feed the hungry and make our shareholders happy. I'll let Clive tell you about the new source we're looking at. Let's make a difference, people. Go sausage! <laughs> And I always speak for everyone when we, when we wish Clive a speedy recovery until he's out of intensive care and everything looks promising. There's a get well card going around the office. Please sign it. Okay, why... what happened to him? <laughs> the locust. The protein we'll be working out with comes out of Egypt. A relative oh. personal encountered a large preternatural insect. Classification is still sketchy, but we're calling them locust. The locusts are massive. One specimen can produce well over a hundred breakfast bars. Well, we have specimens <laughs> available to us from company businesses in the Middle East. We'll start by examining dead specimens until living ones are formidable. Breeding? The samples took look promising, highly nutritious, but keeping up supply based on the shot carcasses our soldiers bringing in from Egypt is not a ten tenable system. What's the possibility of starting a bre breeding program? Also, what the hell is Team B working on? How do they get so much insect matter? They're just calling it the source. Coy bastards. I still say it's unfair they get the center room. Oh. Do I... Was that something in Zagan? I wonder. Breeding and handling the live specimens may not be cost effective either. I'm told they have live gravid samples being brought in so we can start up a small breeding colony and see it play out in mic microcosm. I'll be dealing with them over the weekend and see how it goes. Okay. They're gonna eat locusts now. Okay. Mmm, yummy. That's your starving. Oh, oh hello. <laughs> you big. You big. We have hives, people. I oh, wait, should I pick up the little? Hang on. Yeah, we can pick up the lore through here. No, I didn't pick up. Oh, oh. I didn't. Okay. The, the uh, dark lore that was over there? 
I'm going crazy. I'm sure I didn't pick it up, but okay. Hi. <laughs> Just watching you. <laughs> Wait. Let me double check. I'm gonna want to make sure I got that dark lore. Okay. Yeah, I got it. Mm. So walking over dead bodies gives you a debuff. Oh, does it? Yeah, you get stinging like nettles or something on you. Yeah. Energy bars, seasonal, agricultural, resourceful, heavy. Insects? Mmm, <laughs> you look nice and smelly. <laughs> Oh, green key card. You got it. You know, I'd be sad if it wasn't green. <laughs> Where can I? Oh, I'm just it off. Oh, I'm looking. That person just literally. Oh, they were probably already dead, just laying against the door. Oh, that makes sense. What's in here? Computer. Computer. E memos the source. Team B, none of you want to see Levin's friendly idiot grin as he leads the team to the land of promotions while we watch while we watch under the shade of a juicy layoff. So quick and pace, their bars are proving more nutritious than ours. Our ace in the hole is that they haven't worked out a viable renewable source yet. We have Let's say I took a cue from the colleague over at Zagan, where he came in close to the chest, I just have a few key personnel in the center room. Hush hush. If anyone asks, they just refer to it as the source. Let them sweat out the ambiguity. <laughs> Look, they got battling scorpions over here. Ooh. Oh, nice. Chad is on paid leave for the time being. He admitted to certain personal problems and attempts to add self-medication to me in private. We hope to have him back soon. Please disregard anything he'd said in the last few days. Huh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Did he conveniently disappear? Uh-huh. Employee board. What oh, is... Yeah, what is the source? It's tasty enough. I think you can tell us. I mean, no one in the trees grosses out, and the team and grosses out easily. Nutrition, nutrients are nutrients. It's clearly insect matter. What, what do we get access to the center room? Well, when do we get access to the center room? Regarding what is it? How is it generating all the insects? It's just covered in them. Are they reproducing that fast? Oh, it's an insect golem. No, it's not covered in bugs. I don't think there's anything underneath. What does it all come from? Probably. For Chad. Has Chad lost his mind? He said we didn't get the source from anywhere. He babbled on about a summoning circle and mumbo jumbo gibberish. Where the hell did, did that come from? Ooh. Oh yeah! Scorpion battle! Give him a left! A left! <laughs> Use the stinger. Lore. There's a memo here too, okay. and stuff on the whiteboard. Primary notes as I work. Subject locust, nickname we have taken to calling it, though we are still working on a proper classification. There's your samples have been collected from the areas marked on the chart below. For ease, the sample contains the containers are coded to denote uh, location of extraction. We managed to keep subject alive through most of the dissection, giving us greater insight into the past car carcasses. When alive, the subject muscles are taut and strong like steel cables. When dead, the muscles atrophy and are easy to cut. Likewise, the carapace, when alive, has a density and strength that can withstand gunfire. When dead, the shell instantly becomes brittle like bad pottery. Conclusion, life the creature exists biologically, but is supplemented on some ultra-natural force. Next report will contain information gathered regarding the tongue-like appendages and weaponized acid. Lovely. Okay, stand on a dead body and look at the debuff you get. Uh, -huh. uh insect swarm being eaten alive by insects. <laughs> you. Thanks, Sam. I feel well, well enriched now we've done that. Yeah. <laughs> Team building exercise. <laughs> hey, you <laughs> stand on insects and let them eat you. <laughs> Sounds like the kind of crazy shit they do here. 
Oh, look, oh, look these, uh, everything on the windows is lovely. It's an insect golem. I had some pet locusts once, and it was a bad idea. What's going on? He's, He's calling friends. Be careful about standing on bodies. I think I know where the bugs got their nutrition from. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Well. Mm. Okay, where's the key card? I don't know. Hey, look at the ring. Ah. At least we're finally at a Nazi. Ooh, I've not really been reading the Dragon Reports, but um, they're starting to get confused about why I'm actually here and what I'm doing. Oh, really? They, they say, don't like, know? Well, no, they're starting to say, like, oh, um, thank you for your report. Uh, I can't, like, they can't remember why I'm here. It's all vague as if it's a dream. Huh. Oh, I... Okay, Nancy, I think I remember which floor of the Z are. We I think we've done the Uh okay, never mind. This is not the floor I think. Possibly Welcome to the Anansi Technologies branch. Anansi. Technology that cares. What? This woman just said we owe so much to you. Oh, it's an Aegis test dummy. Oh, activate it. Oh, the music in here sounds like music for Dream Palace. Okay. Okay. Oh, they were doing testing for them. Hmm. Yeah, we're so doing testing they... for them. I see how it is. She's letting us through? Yeah. She let, yeah, she let us through. Thanks. Oh, the psychic. Just because they're too chicken shit to test it themselves. Yeah. There's <laughs> an office Anything memo over here? here. Office memo. You've given us so much data. This week's mandatory workshop is in operant conditioning. Bring a notepad, writing utensil, and an open mind. Remember, an increase in the amount of time between pressing of the button and a reward causes superstition in the rat. Huh. Okay. We've been watching you. Thanks for I suspect that's a reference to the, uh, addictive uh, testing type of thing they've done with rats where if they if they push a button the rat gets addicted to pushing the button and not the food reward that comes out of it it's a weird okay. thing to prevent properly down the prototype towers have a Wi-Fi enabled safety protocol installed when tower activates it will send a shutdown command to other towers within range do not disable or uninstall this functionality doing so result in cost of repairs being added to company issued funerary deductible as always, any remaining funerary or repair costs will be billed to your next of kin. <laughs> Ooh. Charmed. Kill the demons. Now we have to turn on this one. There you go. There's also a memo over here, too. Oh. Uh, this week's oh. mandatory workshop is an operant condition, bring a notepad. Oh. It's the same one, same, yeah. Same as one as before. What's this one? A different one. To prevent proper damage for it to have a Wi-Fi. Oh no, that's the same thing. That I read before. Where they shut down. Oh, is it? Yeah, one, when oh, one goes yeah. on, another one shuts off. Oh, yeah. Okay.
Yeah, this is how Aegis fights are without uh, the shield breaking stuff. Yeah. Same with that one. You know, that was the same. Again. There's Laura in the next room. Hi. Tasty, delicious lore. I might be able to uh, get the next capsule in there. How about a few more Aegis Trials? I don't know, but there's lore over here. Same memo. There's a computer over here, though. Ooh. Oh, no, no, that's a... Uh, never mind. That's not a computer. Office memo. Oh, I wonder. Hold on. The memo about it being in operant conditioning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, probably relating to us, I've actually... I think. <laughs> Oh, okay. Because if they're getting us to do their test for them. Yeah, that makes sense. To be honest, I think that's just because the rat gets bored. Yeah, yeah. Like, they get fed all the time, but there's no cure for the boredom. Yeah. So like, they're, they're, can, they're being nice to us, saying nice things to us, so that we'll do the test for them. Mm -hmm. I think is what it is. So we have to wait for someone to get over here and fix it. Thank you. It's for science, they say. Okay, demonic ones first. Yep. Oh, these are all blue. Alright. Who's next? Who wants some? Who wants some? Yeah. Uh, looks like psychic. Bring him over uh, by the tower. You can yeah, you might. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine not being able to damage anybody. Unless you yeah. have the right age of <laughs> Yeah. Imagine. <laughs> You're demonic. Oh, yeah. And this one. I mean, it wasn't so bad after you level your Aegis up a bit, but getting those first few levels in Aegis is just a chore. Yeah. Because they don't get experience unless you kill stuff. Yeah, yeah. So you just... Oh! This one's this cyclic. One? Okay. No, this... Yeah, cyclic. Like I think it cycles through different types. Yeah, I think so. Cyclical. Oh yeah, cyclic. That's why it's called cyclic. That's demonic. Thank you. What? What? Where's the card at? Bear with me just a sec. Let me see if I can do my capsule. Right here in the middle. Ah. <gasps> blood Mastery 5! Oh Yay. yeah! Master that I saw the aura off. It put, I did my fists first because I didn't think it'd work. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Keep activating you.
<laughs> yeah, same here.